Hey, this is Ken for the Information Nation. I thought I'd bring you a quick um, quick little news update. <clears throat> this comes from Deneen Borelli. And uh, she's a black woman who does um, politics. Let's see if we can get rid of this. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. Attorney General Loretta Lynch is helping non-citizens vote. Attorney General Loretta Lynch, Justice Department, is helping to ensure that non-citizens can vote in the 2016 presidential election, a move that would give a clear advantage to the Democratic Party in the general election. Now, it shows you right now how far the Democratic Party or how far this, this administration will go to take away your country. Your country. It's not his country. It's our country. And they're going they want to try to take it away from you. But let's take this down a little bit farther. Several well funded organizations. Now these are all leftist, far left, radical left organizations. The League of Women Voters and the NAACP are fighting efforts to prevent non citizens from voting illegally in the upcoming presidential election. And the United States Department of Justice, under the direction of Loretta Lynch, is helping them. On February 12th, these groups filed a lawsuit in D.C. federal court seeking to reverse a recent decision by the U.S. Elections Assistance Commission. Now, the thing is, the commission's decision allows Kansas and other states, including Arizona and Georgia, to enforce state laws, ensuring that only citizens register to vote when they use federally designed registration form. An initial hearing in the case is set for Monday afternoon today. The lawsuit is a continuation of an ongoing legal battle over whether or not the EAC needs to approve the printing of state-specific voter requirements in Arizona's federal forms. Now, here's the thing. Remember the battle that was going on over voter ID, whether you had to... um, have a photo ID in order to vote. And they have been fighting that. What is wrong with that? It's not racist, like these scumbag, far-left, communist organizations want you to believe it is. It's not. Try to cash your check without a photo ID. Go ahead, I dare you. Try to get a library card without one. But we can do the greatest thing that this country allows you to do, vote for your elected representatives without identifying yourself. Now, if you think that this is bad, I'm going to take it down a little bit farther here. It says, um, now here's the things, uh, things get fishy. When the state of Arizona requested DAC approve state specific requirements for voter identification, the Justice Department actually helped to draft a request denial letter. So much for the EAC being an independent agency. So here you have an administration. And let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, you know damn well Obama's got this whole damn thing. These Democrats, these communists have got this whole thing stuck in their favor. Reports speculate that Obama will nominate Loretta Lynch to replace late Justice Judge uh, Justice Scalia on a Supreme Court bench. Ironically, it was Justice Scalia who wrote the majority decision requiring the EAC to approve Arizona's request for specific citizenship requirements in the first place. Now, I'm going to tell you what this is setting up for. And all you people with all of your little liberal leanings, you go ahead and see if I'm wrong. If, if Obama nominates Loretta Lynch and they turn her down, the scream of racism will be so loud that it'll be deafening. You won't be able to hear yourself think. Because she would be the first black woman on the Supreme Court, according to the article. And um, <laughs> as Janine Den- puts it, this is just one of the many reasons why the stakes are too high for Republicans to allow yet another progressive ideologue like Loretta Lynch to join the Supreme Court. You know, we've got problems in this country, people. 
And the problem is, we have an administration that wants to take your country away from you. You better wake up. You had better wake up. Now, right up here, it says, however, the majority opinion in the case written by Justice Anthony Scalia stipulated that the EAC refused Arizona's request to accommodate a proof of citizenship requirement. The state could sue the EAC and establish in court that a mere oath will not suffice to effectuate the citizenship requirement and that the EAC is therefore under non-discretionary duty to include Arizona's concrete evidence requirement on a federal form. You know, I'm so sick and tired of having my country taken away from me. I don't know if you are, but I am. I've had just about enough. They wonder why in the heck Donald Trump is doing so well. Because the people are pissed off. The people have had enough. We've been pushed around and beat up by these lifetime politicians, and I'll include a couple of Republicans in there, which include John McCain and his son, Lindseed Graham, and even one of my congressmen, one of my senators here, uh, Captain Kirk. He's another joke. They run under the guise of being Republicans or the guise of being conservative, and they don't do it. They don't do a damn thing but push their own agenda because these guys, without us putting them in office, you want to know where they'd be? They'd be on the welfare rolls because they're not smart enough to hold any other kind of job. They've destroyed the economy in this country, and now they want to take, they want to take the, what's left of your country away from you. You'd better wake up. But, hey, that's just my opinion. This is Ken from the Information Nation. Bringing you more stuff. Hey, subscribe to the channel if you would. Give us a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. And remember, in the meantime, in between time, ain't we got fun? <laughs> Have a great day.